Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Coleman, Weber's Grilling Expert. There's nothing better than a great grilled burger. And that's the topic of today's masterclass. We're going to give you 10 easy steps to follow to take your burger grilling to another level. Now the first step that we're going to follow is our grilling game plan. What we're going to be grilling, how we're going to be grilling it, and how long it needs to be on our grill. And all this information can be found in our owner's guides, in our great cookbooks, or the apps that are available. Now the second step in grilling the perfect burger is inventorying our barbecue grill. Now if you're noticing any debris on the inside of your kettle, make sure that you clean that all out. You want as much airflow and circulation as possible. Also, make sure you have all the tools and accessories you're going to need. We want to focus strictly on grilling. We don't want any distractions. Now that we've inventoried our grill, we're going to move on to step number three, and that's setting it up for direct grilling. Now anything grilled under 20 minutes, we'll be using that method. We're going to get our charcoal started, get it nice and hot, and we're going to move on to step number four, which is the preheat. We've set our grill up for direct cooking, now we need to preheat, and that's step number four. This is by far the most important step when you're grilling something. This sets the whole tone. It brings the grill up to temperature, it helps sear and caramelize, which gives us all that great barbecue flavor. If we don't preheat our grill properly, food can stick to the cooking grates, it can also take longer which can dry it out. So what we're going to do is put our grates on, close the lid, open up our vents and set our timers for about 15 minutes. We've got our grill preheating, now let's go on to the next step. That's the fifth one and that's taking our burgers to another level. Here we have ground chuck, it's 80-20. We're looking for that 20% to really bring out all that flavor and that juiciness. Once we've got our meat, we then need to combine our ingredients. And I know a lot of you love doing that after the burger's been grilled, but how about we take those same ingredients and put them into the actual meat. This is gonna bring out all that great flavor of the burger. Here we have some Worcestershire sauce, some ketchup, barbecue sauce, bacon, onions, all those things are gonna enhance the flavor. Now once we've combined all those, we're then gonna form it into a patty. And that needs to be three quarters of an inch tall. That's gonna help it cook evenly on both sides. So make sure you're staying at that height. Now before you take your meat and you put it on the grill, there's one last step. Put a thumbprint right down the middle. We're making burgers, we're not making meatballs. We don't want the juices to pool in the middle. So once we've got all that stuff done, we're then gonna come back to the grill and go to the next step. Our burgers look fantastic. Now we're gonna move on to step number six, and that's cleaning our cooking grates. This should always be done after you preheat your barbecue grill. Just make sure you use a stainless steel bristle brush. That brush is gonna help remove all the excess debris that's been left on from prior cookings. We've cleaned our cooking grates, now we're gonna go on to step seven, and that's searing. Searing all those beautiful grill marks that you see on your food, and that's where all that great barbecue flavor comes from. So now let's take our food and get it on our grill. Now that we've got our burgers on the grill, we need to set our timer. Here I'm using our Weber app, and the time for these burgers is four to five minutes per side. Now one thing that we need to do during those four to five minutes is pay attention to our grill. Here you can see some white smoke coming out of it. That's a good thing. This means the grill is doing exactly what it was designed to do. So be patient and just relax. If you notice some dark smoke coming out of the grill, there's a couple of things that we need to do. Either we close the damper, which lessens the amount of oxygen inside the grill, thus lowering temperatures, or move your food to an indirect area. So now we're going to sit back, wait four to five minutes, and then we're going to get to the next step. Our timers just went off and that takes us to step number nine and that's flipping. And we only need to do that once throughout the cooking process. And please, don't be one of those people that pushes down on the burger and lets all that juice and flavor out. Keep it in the burger. Now for all of you that love cheese on your burger, the best time to put that on is one minute before you take it off. We've got our cheese melted and our burgers off. And that takes us to step number 10, which is resting. Anytime that we grill anything, we need our food to rest for at least 30 to 40% of the total cook time. This helps it relax and the juices to run back into it. Now hopefully in this video, we've been able to give you some great tips on how to take your burgers to another level. If you have any other questions, you can find us here on the blog, you can refer to your owner's manual, or you can call our customer service at 1-800-446-1071. And always, happy grilling.